Okay, so I've got a bunch of wood now, and I've also got some turkey tails because I needed the brown dye powder. So, what I'm going to do, <coughs> I'm just going to take the bark off there. I think I just grind it. Yeah. So, I should be able to just do this and get the brown dye powder I need. Is that the right stuff? Yeah, brown dye powder. Just get um, some more. Because I think I will need some. But I don't remember what for. Could always craft a second bladder. Oh, excuse me, second bladder. I'll keep the shovel on me, actually. Uh, actually, no, no, I won't. Um, or should I? Do you know what? I've got two leads for now, so what I'll do is I'll make the sawmill first, and then with the resultant wood I can then build everything else so that sounds like a plan and I can use that horse up there because I think I've got just enough yes my brain is working for, for the moment who knows long, how long that's gonna last uh, 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 uh. Do you know we'll make another three leads won't we wait didn't I already have Where's the third lead I had? Because I'm sure... Because I went down to pick it up, didn't I? And then I took the two picks. So it must still be over there, right? Assuming it hasn't despawned. But, I mean, leather's kind of precious at this point, so I don't really want to... <laughs> around somewhere oh. all this grass it's good for twine but okay I might have to just chalk that up to being lost to the ether gonna use that for the buffalo because I need more there we go it's like two breeding pairs now want to breed them again Sticks are kind of a pain to get, whereas planks are not. So I'll use one stick, the planks, and a chopping block. So there's that. And two planks on either side. Then two leads. Some flint. And a stick. And boom. We have a horse chopping block. 
Now, I need to be careful about where I put this. F9 is the chunk borders. So what I want to make sure I do is the area that I'm going to put this down needs to be within, so the sort of grid that's appeared there needs to not go over these chunk borders. If it does, I run the risk of the lead becoming detached um, and then the horse will wander away, which obviously I don't want. I want it to just be here cutting constantly and not have to worry about it. So the reason it's invalid is because those two blocks are interfering with it. I also need to place some dirt on this side. So I'm just going to quickly merge that block down and then pick up the dirt blocks here. I think I might just sort of make this look a little bit more natural. I could fence this off as well. That might be an idea, but I'll do that sort of later. And I think that'll do it, if I'm not mistaken. I think that is working nicely, or will work nicely. Now all I need to do is head up here, grab you. It'd be nice if it would actually tell me how fast it was. I know later on you can Wait, are you attached? Are you not? I... Okay, that's attached. It's just weird because the shader is making it look like it's not weird. Uh, right, so now if we take an oak wood log, I'll just take the bark off it because I might need more resin. We put it in there. The horse will actually move around and it will automatically cut the log into planks. But just to make it a little bit faster, I'm going to dirt path this up. make this even more efficient I think what I'll do is I will now take this off and put it on top of that one there I'm also going to make a, another hopper I think and put it underneath to feed into another chest which I will grab here So if we put just quickly sleep, might turn the uh, chunk borders off as well because I don't need them again until uh, until. I make another one of these, but obviously like a crusher or something. Uh, I think it's a bit more important for this to output first. Because I can... 
I can manually input, you know, without too much of a problem. <coughs> but getting its output, well, it's not a pain, but I'd rather not have to do it. <laughs> So he's going to walk around, happy days, happy days. And then it goes straight into the chest. Excellent. So now we just need to make a wooden hopper mark one, which is simple enough. We just need to make one of these horrible chests. And then we slap those around. Just merge that. Slappy in the middle. And then I just need to put this on top of that. I'll just nerd pull up. I, do you know what? I, I won't need anything more than that kind of chest will I? Because there we go. And now when I want to have a stack of wood done I just come here I slap that in like so. And there we go. <clears throat> Wood planks automated. Nice. Uh, next up will probably be making a wooden, uh, not wooden grindstone, a horse powered grindstone maybe. Hmm. Although both of them are kind of necessary. I think, now I think about it, the horsepower grindstone's nice, but it would probably be more efficient if I had the pressure one, the horse press. Um, again, I need more leads, so I'm going to need more leather, which is what I was doing this for. So we need a drying rack. Or several, which is slabs, which are made quite easily. We shall make uh, let's make five ish. Oh no, 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 not that, not, not that. Done goofed. I've done goofed. There we go. Uh, I need. There we go. Better. And then we slap these. In there. the drying racks. Now we'll make a little place down by the water to do this because um, actually can I make the aqua so I can't make the aqueducts yet What are these? Log stacks produces charcoal grade fair. Bury in dirt or similar block. So, hang on.
high grade charcoal. Is that like really good? <laughs> If I make an acacia log stack, okay, no, 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 get away, get away, get away, Mr. Bear. Another bear claw. It has. Nice. Ah. Bears. Uh, bears are a little scary. Right. We will go and get some acacia wood then, because I'm kind of curious to know what that does. I'm getting sidetracked, I've just realised. <laughs> but I'll strip these logs and then... Um, hopefully... I can get some good charcoal out of it. Because if this... If this kind of does what I think it does, it is going to be a good investment. If it doesn't, then I've not really lost much anyway, so it doesn't matter. And then... Oh. It says bury it. How do I bury it? Do I just... Do I just surround it with dirt? Is that what I do? We'll come back to these later and see if anything has changed. Because... Bury and dirt or a similar block. I'm going to have to look th up what that does, I think. Hmm. Grab some food. Right, let's go and actually make our little area down here. Hmm. Something is a problem though. Because this isn't a river biome, is it? And if it's not a river biome, the second I need to actually make the water skin as well, I'm getting ahead of myself. So I need three plant one. I've got all of that. So three of that. Uh, one of those. I'll just put that in there for now. I'm probably going to forget about it. And I need to put that in there, put that in the center, then those there. It jobs are good. Oh, and that actually unlocked like a bunch of other <laughs> other ones as well. Nice. Right then. 
we will do this. I do need to get some salt, but I know where there is some. Oh. So, it's actually right next to where I'm planning on going. Right, now, I'm hoping... Ah, okay, maybe this is a river biome then. That's good. For multiple reasons. So. Here I'm going to build... A little offshoot, I think. This is going to be like my tanning place, I think. I'm going to put all my leather crafting equipment. Now we just need the salt. And it should be a case of salted hide, which we need to do oh. this. You do get a lot more, but it is, as I said, a lengthy process. I need more salt. That looks like some there, so I'll just grab that. occurred to me I might actually want to swap out this shovel for a trowel because um, a trowel the advantage it has over just a you know bog standard shovel is that whilst uh, they do you know pretty much the same thing A trowel has the added benefit of allowing worms to drop as well, which doesn't sound like a huge deal. But when you've got those strainers, if you put um, worms in there, you can actually get quite a few ah, see this is this is why this is a problem um get rid of the slate I don't need that also don't need that either um where's the bladder yeah, so when you put the... Actually, I've just come up with an even better way of doing this, actually. Uh, uh, uh. This might not work, but on the other hand, it might. So I'm going to give it a shot. 
if we take that apart, what we can do is we can put all of the salt and um, the salt and the raw hide on the same spot, you know, on, on the crafting uh, stump. And then when we come to actually, excuse me, when we come to actually need it, we can just literally, uh, you know, scoop up, plap on, craft, and then just rinse and repeat. Well, that's the theory anyway. Get the salt, get the rawhide. Slap all of that on there. Slap all of that on there. <coughs> Might have been an idea to bring down another chest as well. And when we do that... See, it won't work all of it, but it will save me having to go in and out of the um, inventory, which is kind of good. So it is mildly faster. Slightly faster, I'd say. But yeah, that's that's the basic gist of this step. So I'll I'll keep uh, I'll keep going, but I won't make uh, I won't make everyone else watch. Right. So. I've now got the hides, so I just need to slap them up there. Now, the next step after that actually requires this stuff, which is ground resin. Now, to get that, I basically need to grind down bark. Now, the best way to do that is obviously to use a grindstone, but I don't really want to spend all my time um, you know, grinding down each individual piece of um, of uh, bark just for the resin I need. So what I'll do is while I'm actually tanning, well, I say tanning, while I'm drying out the salted hides, I will make another, um, what's the word? another grindstone, like a horse-powered one. Because that horse at the moment is not working on that because it's it's finished chopping all the wood while it was out. That's, you know, a decent chunk of it. So what I'll do is I'll make a, another grindstone and I'll use this horse on that grindstone, at least until I can get more stuff. So what do I need for the horse-powered grindstone? So it's stone... That's a pretty simple one. Uh, we'll just quickly merge to nearby chests. Okay, that's not going to work. Uh, this will, though. Three, four, five, six. Ah, oh, now I've screwed myself. Well, we'll quickly sleep, pass through the night. The less I have to deal with mobs, the better. Oh yeah, because of course that's not gonna. Uh, this is the plant stuff, so I'll put that in there for now. Uh, 
Is it worth putting that in the hot? I mean, sharks are hostile, so sod it, yes. Put those in there. And I might do the ritual to give me some eggs. I might make like a chicken coop. But I'll do that later. I'll put those, those in here for now. I'll, I'll, I'll end up getting sidetracked otherwise. Um... Uh, cooked bear meat. That's a lot of protein. Do, do, do. Right, so what do I need? I need the two leads there. I need a stick, just a single stick in the middle there. And then the six stone underneath. And that one looks better. I think I might actually just quickly cook up another stone as well. And you'll see why in a moment. Because unlike the... I might make a separate chest for wood. Um... Plant stuff. That sounds like a good idea. Yep, 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 yep. So yeah, uh, unlike the normal chopping block, or I say normal, the horsepower chopping block, this actually needs to be placed on a like a block higher than it's going to be so whilst that one can go on the floor this one needs to be placed one block higher um so that's three by three it's a lot of space and then maybe yeah so i'll have a space there fence there space there then one two three place that should be right Quickly smooth out the area. And then we place these lovely dirt blocks down here. And then We right click that, bring you over here, and attach you to that. And then when we put in the bark, which I put away, uh, 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 once we've done that, we should have all the resin we could need. Now, I could, and as a matter of fact, I am going to uh, put a hopper underneath that and then a chest uh, just so I can output the materials. Um, I could do that now, actually, because well, that's going to be a while. Um, mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, I keep forgetting this is over here now. So, we need that. Then we need one of those. Craft that up. Slap that there. Why does that why did that sound like there was burning? And then we'll take one of these chests. I don't actually know if I can get away with that. 
It's not yelling at me, so I'm assuming yes. And then when we put that there, there's all the resin we need. Excellent. I'll just quickly dig the path so that you go a little bit faster. looking like something already right now the first load of hide should be finished on the um, drying racks I should probably have made some more but I'll do that when I'm down there I've got a bunch of wood on me uh, how many free slots do I have over here so two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I can make nine. And once that's done. Slap them all there. This will be so much easier. Um, I mean, obviously, I'm not quite doing it just yet, but once I get the uh, water basins later, I can actually batch um, a whole bunch of these together. So I can put three in one with one salt or one resin and mix it up. And I can do like a whole bunch of them at the same time. It, it speeds the process up so much. Uh, actually, no, I don't need to do that because those are salted. So they're done. I just need to put them on the rack. So once these are done, they'll turn into the other hides that I've got, which are these ones, dried hide. Now what you do with the dried hide is you slap it on, and much like the other one, instead of you salt, you use the resin. And then... You get wet hide which is this one. And then once we've dried that again, it becomes actual leather, which is what we will need a heck of a lot of. So I'm going to do this. I'll probably skip the... Um, skip to when I've got all the hides made into... Uh, um, like this stuff, the wet tanned hide, and then I'll slap them on the rack, and then done. I might actually also expand this now that I think about it. Just put another layer on. But yeah, I will skip ahead to when all of this is turned to dry hide or wet tanned hide, sorry, and then. I'll slap it all on the wall and then we'll carry on with something else. <laughs> 